So this is not a video I was planning on making, but I've got to repair the dark matrix. Yeah. The little roller that would go here to ink the ribbon decided to disintegrate. Quite badly, actually. So, if it even gummed up one of the other rollers, that's gummed up. And in the process, it all got on the ribbon and it gummed up the needles. So the little pins are not all working now. Plus, it's also a little bit got into the bottom there. So I've got to clean this now. I have removed the two screws there and there. Now I can remove this part. Just like so, and then I must just disconnect the ribbon cable right down there. So I will get back to you once I've disconnected it, because I need both my hands. Now here is the little head right there. You can see how gummed up that is. Here's the little pins right about there. So now I'm going to give that a clean. Okay, now all I have to do now is just place the head carefully in some alcohol. Just like that. And then just leave it there for a little bit so it just breaks up any of the ink that has formed inside of the pins. So leaving it for a bit, see how it's loosened up a lot of that. It's a lot better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it with a tissue. Sorry, I can't quite do this uh, one-handed. So as you see, I'll just take tissue and just wipe it until you get all that ink and kind of dip it again. And then just wipe it some more. Don't have to be too afraid of wiping the pins because these go against the ribbon. So they are quite tough. And as you can see, that looks much better. Hopefully, it works better too. And now I can just place it right back in once it's completely dry. Okay, so. After putting a new uh, ribbon in, you see it's now printing again and the heads are working fine. Um, this new ribbon just needs a bit of time to dry up a little bit because it's new. As you can see it's streaking a little bit, but also it just needs to be adjusted a bit more. But yeah, as you can see, it works.